Good morning. Today is Monday the 15th of February 2021. I'm wearing my Monday jumper, Monday, mon Monday checklist, coffee, coffee, coffee. This came from New Look quite a few years ago. I always get asked where it's from. I forgot to wear it for ages and I thought I'd dig it out this morning. So it's the beginning of a new week and it just popped into my head that maybe I will have a go at doing uh, a week in the life kind of vlog so I'm going to try and do that this week um, not sure how interesting it's going to be a week in the life of lockdown might be kind of boring um, there's going to be a lot of work um, I'm not quite sure how the week's going to pan out though really because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is school holiday for us I know in England they get a whole week I think we don't get it up here in Scotland so not that we can actually do much, unfortunately. Maybe get out for a few walks. I think the weather might get a bit better. We have just started to have the thaw on all the snow that we had. You'll have seen in my last vlog, there was a lot of snow. Um, so the weather's going to really warm up this week, which is going to feel really, really weird. But I'm not complaining. Um, so I've just made a coffee. It's about half eleven. I've made... I made a coffee, I've done some yoga this morning, I'm trying to get back into doing yoga again and I have been quite good at doing it this year. And I'm through at the sewing room. On a Monday morning, the sewing room usually needs a little tidy up on the desk. There just seems to be stuff that accumulates over the weekend, I don't even know how. I've had a few items of mail lately, I've had some really thoughtful mail from friends and followers and customers. I got a little card this morning, just a thank you card for someone's order. Isn't that beautiful? That was really thoughtful. This is from Linda, so thank you Linda if you're watching. Um, I get lovely deliveries every day of stock quite often um, and I got the yarn on Saturday for going in the next mystery box. The next one is sea themed and I'm going to start working on that probably later on this week actually. I've got the, the um, project bags to sew. Um, I sent out the last mystery box a couple of weeks ago. I'm just waiting on them reaching um, countries out with the UK. Um, I need to remember to show you what goes in the boxes as well, but I have to wait to make sure everyone has received theirs. So I'm enjoying not sewing the project bags for the boxes at the moment because um, it takes up quite a lot of time. And then when they are all done, I get to do other fun things. So I have got a pile of other project bags ready for the shop, or almost ready for the shop. And over the weekend I've cut out some more fabrics for some more bags. So I'm going to get on with those today as well later on. Um, what I like to do usually first in the morning is to get ready, to get any parcels ready that need to go out, any orders. Um, so over the weekend I've had a few, so I'm going to just get those done because if I leave it until, if I leave them to do it all at once, it takes me such a long time. So I'd rather do it little and often, really. My posting days at the moment are Tuesdays and Fridays, so we'll go to the post office tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to have a little tidy up. I've also got some yarn on my desk because I am always planning ahead to something else, aren't we all? So I pulled out some wool and just in the process of picking a contrast colour to go with it. Obviously it's going to be socks because that's pretty much all in it. Um, I'll give you a bit of view of this later on. I'll get it caked up and it'll look a bit better. But there are some real plummy, nice plums in there. So I've pulled out some minis and odds and ends. I think some of these came from down Sheepy Lane. Some of them might be from Cherie in my advent calendars. Fortunately, I haven't got labels, so it will be a mystery. I'm liking that one though. But yeah, I still got to decide which one to put with it. But I'm not ready to start that project yet anyway. I'm just having a play about. Um, I'm going to finish my coffee and um, get on with some work.
about half past four now and look it's still light I'm loving that it. it's getting lighter and you can notice it's getting lighter um, I have had one of those days where I've been busy all day but I didn't actually get done what I said I would do um, yeah um, running a shop actually takes a lot more time than I realise and um, so I've done a bit of patch orders today I've done a bit of stock replenishment in my shop and I've taken the photos of some new bits and pieces and I've uploaded those so I've got new pens which are really nice and I've got pen holders for putting in your journal and there's some new um, sewing labels as well um, I'll just show you a few so these are the labels, the brown ones are back in stock and I also thought it would be really fun to get some pink ones the colours a little bit funny just now because I've got the big light on but you get the idea so they are both back in the shop so they're both in the shop now as well they are not quite as dark as they look on the screen there but you get the idea so they're in stock um, I am going to spend a little bit of time now just continuing with sewing up some bags that I've already cut out the fabrics for so I think what I'm going to do because I need to do a bit of cutting out for some padding for them and ironing I'm going to pop on some vlogs and YouTubes on podcasts podcasts no YouTube start that again I'm going to put on some vlogs podcasts on YouTube just to keep me company um, up until tea time Good morning from a very sunny Scotland. It's Tuesday, um, the 16th of February. It's pancake day. We are really excited. We're having crepes tonight. Um, I'm just going to package up a few more orders. I've had a few more since yesterday. Today is a post office drop off day, so we're going to do that and then we're going to pop to the supermarket. Um, it's quite exciting going to the supermarket at the moment, isn't it? Cause it's kind of like the only place we get to go. Um, so I'm going to get on with that. Um, I didn't get very far with sewing up the bags yesterday, I didn't do any sewing. So hopefully I will have time to get on with that when I get home. Um, the rest of the week for us here in Scotland is actually school holidays, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So um, I'm not quite sure how the days are going to look then. I might just try and not do too much work. Um, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to sign off now and get on with packing those orders.
are back from the shops. It's so nice just to get out, isn't it, and have a change of scenery. I find myself taking my time when I walk around the supermarket just because it's not in the house. Um, so we've just had, well, I've just had a really late lunch. I just had some lentil soup that I made the other day. We are going to have a really light dinner tonight so that we can keep plenty of room for our pancakes. We're going to have crepes and we bought lotus biscuit spread, you know, the Biscoff spread. We're going to have that on them with ice cream and probably I will have banana and strawberries. The full money, I mean, you can imagine. If you've been around here for any length of time, you'll know that we go all out on a weekend morning and we have waffles for breakfast. So pancake day is just another extension of that kind of idea, really. So yes, definitely my kind of day. Um, so I thought I'd just show you a couple of things that I got at the shops as well. Um, I went to Aldi um, and I saw this and I could not resist it. Oh, how lovely is that? And of course, what's everyone's first thought? Yarn. That's going to look so cute with yarn in it. I did sort out my yarn the other day actually. Um, and I put all my minis into a basket and all the full skeins into a basket as well. But I thought a basket like this would be actually a better size for what I needed. Um, so I'll have a rejig of stuff and um, move something into this one. This was three ninety nine. They had darker grey ones as well, but I just thought, oh, so nice, love it. So that was a wee treat to myself. Also got myself a few bunches of flowers because why not? I've also been struggling lately with what to put my items in for the post office because the amount of mail I've got, I haven't got bags big enough. So we went next door to Aldi to B&M um, for cat food and they had these bags at the till and these are a fabric -y canvas bag and they were only a pound so I got a couple of those and they'll be perfect and what I'll probably do is put my, maybe attach one of my labels to the handles and that way the post office will know that they're my bags and if I've got a couple of the same then um, Again, they'll know that they're mine because there was a bit of confusion today. Even I couldn't tell whether the bags were mine or not that um, were there. Somebody else had the same ones, so I thought they're quite pretty. And they've got the honeycomb on them as well, or hexes, if um, you're thinking like a sewer. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I am finding that with my shop getting fuller of all the journal I uh, journaling items and the sewing notions that my sewing time is just quite greatly reduced so I am definitely going to sew this afternoon. I've got this beautiful pile of fabrics all ready to be made into bags and I would quite like to have some finishes. How pretty do they look? Oh so lovely and oh I'm feeling all springtimey today because it's all sunny and you can definitely feel it's so much warmer. The car said nine degrees which is a big difference from the zero degrees it's been for about the past two months. So, definitely great. Um, so I'm gonna get on now, and um, no doubt you will see our crepes tonight.
Good morning. It's Thursday today and I'm just having my morning cuppa. I have lemon green tea in the mornings. I love it. I am just going to sit for a little bit this morning. We are having a few quiet days with it being school holiday and yesterday was a really nice relaxing day. We went to the beach. I did a little bit of work when we came home. It was just so nice and it's really nice just to switch the alarm off. So although obviously we're not at school, we have been setting the alarm just to keep in our routine. So I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm going to do some yoga in a bit as well. But I thought at the moment what I might just do is knit on my socks. So I've gone past the heel on these ribbed socks and I'm a little bit up the leg. I'm going to try them on in a minute because I think I might be ready to do the rib. Um, the last time I tried them on, I was here at the croissant stitch marker and I thought I'd do another inch and then check again so I'm going to check again in a minute and then maybe 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 I can go on to the cuff and then it'll be on the home stretch with these these are my Christmas socks this is a I think it, I'm not sure if it's a Christmas yarn um it didn't have like a name it's by it was by the little tailoress who is <clears throat> now dyeing yarn as dandelion and dogwood but I just thought it was a really Christmassy looking colour to me and it has sparkle in it as well it's got a silver sparkle so it's just beautiful I love it so I'm gonna do a little bit of this I'm saying a little bit but you know what it's like 10 minutes turns into half an hour and then before you know it you've spent way too long so I'll get on with this and then um I have got the bags to finish off I haven't done all the drawstrings but nearly so I've got them to finish off and then I can get them photographed, but that'll probably be a job for the next few days. I'm not in a massive rush for that at the moment. I have orders to pack for tomorrow. Apart from that, we haven't got any major plans for today. It's kind of grey, overcast and grey a bit, but if we can get out for a little walk, that would be great. Uh, Joshua might go on his scooter or his bike, um, but it'd be nice just to get out for a bit of air. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on a minute now till he just walks across the room. Um, yeah, I'm going to get one. Those of you who've followed me for a while will know that Thursdays are a very special day for me. Thursdays, <coughs> Thursday is the day that I volunteer with the National Trust for Scotland at a local palace and I work in the gardens. However, with lockdown obviously we are not allowed to do that so from January, well from Boxing Day we've been in lockdown so I haven't been able to go back this year at all which is really sad. Um, I absolutely love going to the palace for many reasons, um, obviously nature and being outdoors, as you know, is really important to me. And it's also just a chance to be around people and it's just lovely. There's a really great group of volunteers that go in on, well, they, there's great people every day, but Thursday being my day is, you know, you just get used to the people that you're in with on that day and it's just a really great group. Um, so last year, obviously we were in lockdown from March until Gosh, I don't even know when lockdown ended last year. But I didn't get in from March till... I think I went back about September. So I missed the whole of the garden in summer. Which made me so sad. There's an orchard. And in the summer it becomes a wildflower meadow. And it's just stunning. It's beautiful. If you go back to my vlogs from June... 2019 I think I did daily vlogs so you'll see there just how stunning it is and the rest of the garden itself is just beautiful um so I'm really sad that we haven't been able to get back to that and it's a little kind of focus of mine that I could possibly be there this summer so oh if I could be back there this summer this July this June would be amazing that would make me so happy and if, if we miss more of this summer in the garden, I'm going to be so disappointed. Um, I will be looking back at my own videos and my own photos just to remind me of how beautiful it is if we don't get back. But quite often I have vlogged from the orchard in the summer on 
on lunch break so you see just how beautiful it is and you you can see how happy it makes me as well um so yeah that's where i should be on thursdays thursdays feel a little bit weird at the moment because it's just it's become such an ingrained thing on a thursday that we do we you and me um and um i think this will be my sixth year going march is when i joined so march will be my my vloggy my volunteer anniversary i call it we do get um like long service badges and stuff so i think i got one to mark my fifth year and i won't get one this year but i think i'll probably get one in my 10th year i'll still be there 10 years later um but yeah that's what i do on thursdays and i really really miss it and cannot wait to get back We are back from our walk. I didn't take much video footage because we just went out of the house and walked around our local area. It's not particularly pretty, um, so there wasn't really much to take any video of. There was some crocuses though, the first ones I've seen, and some snowdrops. We are seeing a few more snowdrops. Um, bearing in mind, we're in Scotland, so we're a little bit behind England, I know. I've seen pictures on Instagram of daffodils already. We haven't got any out up here yet that I've seen. <clears throat> um, we managed to avoid the rain, thought it might rain while we were out. Joshua went on his bike so we had quite a long walk. It's good to get out but nice to get back. I'm just going to get on with some orders now I think, pack some orders up ready for posting tomorrow. You'll have seen that I've finished threading up all the bags. <clears throat> um, I have been using up lots of fabrics out of my drawers just to kind of reduce the amount I've got because I've got quite a lot. Um, so I've taken large bags and small bags and the standard sizes that I make um, from what I've got. So this is a large and it's kind of the length of a skein. So you'd fit quite a lot in there and I'll just show you. Uh, I think this is the small, which is just perfect for socks or shawls, you know, a one skein project. So whatever I could get from the fabrics, I've taken as big a bag as I could. And then whatever was left, I've just made a really small bag in whatever size was left so this one has given has given me a really dinky bag and I thought it would be fun this is my idea fun to make it the same fabrics and oh isn't it so cute I just thought it's cute to see how different fabrics look in different size bags but um this one has turned out really a really nice shape and a really nice size it's quite it's not too deep but it's quite wide I really like that so you can use that for anything you like you could even put um I was going to say you could put DPNs in that, but that wouldn't fit DPNs. That would fit circulars in there quite nicely. Um, you could even use it for like makeup and hand cream and chewing gum in your handbag and stuff. Um, also, I have got some new labels, which I'm really happy with. I think they're so cute, so pretty. Um, so I've been playing about with the placement of these. So I've got some inside the bags. I've just sewn them at either ends. What I've also tried is putting some on the edge of the bag just to see how it would look. So, what do you think? I don't know which I prefer. I like it on both actually, quite like it on the outside because they're so small that they don't, you know, they're not too 
imposing on the outside. It's got a little sewing machine with flowers and then sewing on the back. Um, this is another one that's just come out a rather different size to usual. It's small. not quite as big as a small bag. It's slightly wider so I just call so I've got I call these large bags small bags and the ones that I make that are all odds and ends are just I just call them dinky bags so if you see them in my shop check the sizes carefully I have listed the size I will list the size in all the listings so just check carefully isn't this fabric just oh it's beautiful it's making me think of summer meadows it's lovely and it's got the lilac inside and again I got a really small bag from this one so you can see the difference in size that one's turned out quite small but again a perfect notions bag you can um easily get your scissors and stitch markers and all sorts of things in there so again really handy and then i've got another one i've got a large one love that fabric and that has got a gray lining and the cuff is silver metallic and i've got a really small one made with that as well again that's quite short but wide so quite a nice size and then Oh, I've got two from that fabric. That's a small bag and that's just an even smaller dinky bag. So you can mix and match or have it matching. I like them mismatched. But it's nice, it's fun to make them the same and see what they look like. And then I've got this one which came out quite tall. That's the one I was thinking would be quite good for putting DPNs in. You can store your DPN holders in there as well. And circulars would fit in there really well actually and that's quite a thin one so they've all got they've all got their uses really in all the different sizes but they were really fun to make and I absolutely love digging out the floral pale pastely oh colors oh especially the ones that have got you know lots of florals on they're just so so pretty and make me think of what is just around the corner I've been managing to get out in the garden yesterday and today just for short snippets of time. And yesterday I just cut back some dead perennials um, and cleared, you know, it just makes such a difference to the area. And today I was, what was I doing? Oh, I was just raking up some leaves and it's quite nice because you unearth more pops of daffodils coming through the soil. And there's some primroses there as well and tulips. Once you take away the leaves, it's really nice. I'm not going to say particularly when these are going to be in the shop because time at the moment is just you know I don't I'm not guaranteed the time to photograph and upload and all that so I'm just going to do it as and when I can so over the next week um I mean obviously I know this video is not going to go out until Sunday or Monday so over the coming week they will be in the shop so just keep an eye out if you if you want the best way to get the updates on my shop then Instagram is the best place to find me because I will put it on there and it's obviously an instant, you'll see the instant post. Um, right, I've got orders to post so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm loving how light it's staying in the evenings for longer. It's really nice. I sit up here and as dusk falls the birds just, oh they just chatter away so much. It's really nice to hear. I love it and it's just, oh I just feel like the brighter, better days are definitely coming. And um, yeah, nature is something that I, I do get a lot of comfort and happiness from. So yeah, I hope I hope you're finding that wherever you live. I know if you live in a different country, it might be quite different. I know quite a lot of America and Canada are still under a lot of snow right now. Ours has gone. We've got a tiny clump in the front garden, which is where we'd obviously shoveled a big pile. Um, tomorrow, Friday, Fridays are quite busy for us, it's a post office day and I also get groceries and things for my mum so I'll go and drop them off to my mum from the back doorstep. Um, so yeah, quite a busy day and then by the time we get home it's like lunch and then whatever else needs doing. Luckily there's no school work tomorrow to, to catch up on, um, that makes it quite difficult on a Friday when Joshua's got his school work to do as well, um, just, just fitting everything in but but we are managing um, and we're enjoying the school holidays this week. I didn't set the alarm so oh it's good to have a lion. I keep getting distracted by the birds out the window. Right I'm gonna get on, speak to you later.
it's Saturday morning breakfast and I know I kind of promised you that there would be waffles. I've been having this breakfast banana loaf for breakfast the past few days and I absolutely love it. It's a deliciously Ella recipe. So it's got no refined sugar in it. There's no fat in it either. And it is so delicious. It's gluten free, it can be vegan. I've added a few dark chocolate chips into mine and it's just amazing. And this is how I like it. I usually pile it all on top, the yogurt and the fruit. So I would lay it out today, but this is what I'm having for breakfast. And this is the last slice, so I'll have to make some more soon. Having my tea and I've brought my knitting so I can sit and do a few more rows of the cuff um, once I'm finished. I'm so close to getting these off the needles. off the needles finally cast these off obviously they've yet to get the ends woven and have a block but obviously the first thing you do is try them on I'm not alone am I I always like to try it on because I bind off the cuff so I just want to make sure that they're not too tight I do sort of half Jenny's is it Jenny's super stretchy bind off or something um, Sometimes don't do it on every stitch, otherwise I find that they're too baggy. So I do it on most of the stitches and some stitches I don't. So I just try it on, make sure that I can at least get it over my heel. And these are fine and not too baggy. So I can weave the ends in properly. And that's another finish. Yay! I am making a fine mess here, but I've got my socks which I'm going to weave in the ends and I also have got to show you another finish. I've got my greenery socks done. So happy that they are finished. Both of these pairs are my Christmas cast-ons from last Christmas. Um, these were just greens that I pulled out, out of my stash and I just I love green so I just wanted to make green socks and they can be they're kind of wreath like so I like that idea so they are done they're just a vanilla and these ones are a rib and I've woven the ends in the green ones they've yet to be blocked and I had some socks sitting about in the sewing room yet to get the ends woven in as well and I'm slightly embarrassed to say that my black currant jam socks were sitting there for ages. If you followed my vlogs, oh, it wasn't even last year, it was the year before, I dyed some yarn up using some blackberries that we'd picked and made jam from. And this is the wool. It's got a really nice shade. I don't even know what you would call that. It's not a lilac. It's more of a beige, but with a slight hint of something to it. I'd say the color is fairly true to life. There is a very, very fine hint of purple in them, like lilac, but it's not quite picking up. 
but I love them. And these are the Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. I've made this one so many times. It's like my go-to pattern because I love just a simple repetitive pattern. And these fit the bill perfectly. So they have had their ends woven in. They are so soft. I have to check back what that yarn is. And I can wear them now. And I also have another pair that I have still to weave the ends in. And it's these socks that I knitted. I think it was last summer. And I've called these my seascape socks because if you follow me at all, you know I love being at the sea. So, again, I just pulled out blues from Stash. I think um, I did put out a plea for some, so I did get some sent to me by a couple of people. So, I did those in as well. But, yeah, they are just lovely. I love these speckled. Oh, I love that. That's probably that one and that one. Definite favourites. They are gorgeous. I have no idea what they are. But, yeah, they remind me of... All different shades of the sea so I'm going to weave these ends in as well and then I'll have another new pair of socks to start wearing and to add into my rotation of handmade socks I can wear. Hi it's Saturday and you probably realise that we jumped straight from Thursday to Saturday didn't really end up filming anything at all yesterday on Friday. Fridays are just such a really busy day and I just feel like it's my least favourite day of the week at the moment. I'm running about doing so much stuff on a Friday, it's not really an enjoyable day. But my weekends at the moment, I've really made a point to just make them as relaxing as possible. So that also means getting a bit of the housework done on a Friday so that it's, it's done and I can enjoy a clean and tidy house over the weekend. So... As much as Fridays are a busy day, I do quite like the fact that I've managed to get that done on a Friday. So, yeah, it wasn't much to film yesterday. Um, so, yeah, Saturday today, I'm just chilling. I'm doing quite a bit of knitting, a lot of finishing off, which feels good. I have a few other projects still on the go, like my mittens, and I've got a big, um, chunky shawl that I'm making. I would really like to finish that so I can wear it. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of the pressure now to kind of get things finishing off the needles because I want to wear them and I want to be able to wear my mittens too before it's too late. Um, I'm not really thinking much further ahead at the moment other than just weaving in the ends on these socks. <clears throat> I could really do with doing a little bit of work upstairs today so I might go and do that. Just, just um, takes a bit of pressure off through the week because I have taken time out to spend time with Joshua it was school holidays for a few days last week and if we want to go for walks and things then we do and it's been nice to be able to do that and when else in our lifetimes are we getting the chance to spend time with our children when they should be at school and stuff so we're just taking the advantage taking advantage of being able to go out for a walk if we want we can go out if the weather's nice so um, obviously I have to sacrifice my working time to do that but if I can fit in <coughs> excuse me um, fit in a little bit of working time at the weekend then I don't mind that I do have fabric to cut so I might go and have a go at that I might go and do that and then at least it's it's ready for sewing next week as well um, the weather on Monday I did look and it looked like it's going to be quite nice and sunny so we might get out then again for a walk with the weather having been so wet over the past few weeks, I do feel like I want to just grab every opportunity to get out for a walk because we haven't been getting much um, in the way of exercise otherwise. I have been sticking to my yoga though and I'm pleased at that. Um, so Tilly and I, she's nicked my spot, that's my seat. She usually steals my seat when I leave my hot water bottle there but I didn't even have a hot water bottle so she's in the seat. Anyway, we are just chilling we we're watching mrs d stitched with mrs d who's paula um and just having a nice relaxing saturday afternoon hope you are too
thought I would show you all the handmade things that I have made that are on Joshua's bed. So I made a quilt a long, long time ago. Quilts were one of the first things that I wanted to make when I started sewing, so I, I really did run before I could walk. But I'm really pleased with the quilts I made. I've got myself one as well, it's in the sitting room, and this is one for Joshua. They're just all bright, fun fabrics. I think he got this when he was probably about four, when he moved into a bed. No, he would have been... He wouldn't have been four when he moved into a bed. Maybe he did get it made for <laughs> when he was at a Christmas or something. But it was made for his bed, what I kind of meant. And I've got this great big granny, rainbow granny blanket which I made for him. And another granny stripe here as well. Um, that was just striped, the rainbow one is a square. And I've got a few cushions here that I've made as well. Just I just love fun bright colours for children. That's got a minky on the back, it's called Dimpled Minky and it's that really soft, fluffy fabric and he loves, he prefers that side to the patchwork side but I just love how fun and bright it is in here and I have made him assure me that he will always use his quilt even when he's a grown up. Good morning, it is Sunday. I've made it to a week of, of vlogging, a whole week of vlogs. Um, I haven't looked at any of the footage yet. I'm going to put it all together this afternoon and then get the vlog out. So I hope that the footage I put together is actually worth me putting together. <laughs> I hope there is an interesting enough stuff there. Um, it's been quite nice just to record little snippets. Um, it's a really beautiful sunny day today. I'm going to go and hang the washing out. I've just washed Joshua's bed today. I'm also going to go and prune my apple tree. Um, I should have done it a couple of weeks ago, I think, but it was covered in snow, so I'm going to get it done now. Um, I have learned a little bit about doing it from being at the palace. We have a massive orchard and we are quite often up the ladders pruning the apple trees in January. Um, so I'm going to go and do that. I might have a little rake up of <clears throat> leaves. There's an awful lot of debris on the soil. Um, which kind of keeps the bulbs warm, I think, but um, I like to to scrape it all up and then you can see all the bulbs coming up. I can maybe put it in my compost bin as well, so it's not going to go to waste at all. Um, and by that time, I think it might be lunchtime, so I'm going to go and do that. I might try and um, pop the camera up on the tripod and see if I can film myself doing a bit of gardening. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting out there. I feel like I really need it. I love nature, I love being outside and um, I do find that aspect of winter really hard that I don't get outside very much um, and I know I could go outside but it's not quite so pleasant being outside when it's cold and rainy and wet but um, this kind of weather when things are starting to waken up I just oh, I find it really helpful for my mood, my mental health so I'm going to get out there, it's calling me. Um, 
I started on my dishcloth last night. I'll show you my progress. It took a lot of concentration. I had to have nothing else going on at the same time. I couldn't listen to anything. I couldn't watch TV. Absolute concentration. But I've done one pattern repeat. Um, it's got hearts on it, so I've got I've got something resembling hearts. So I'm pretty surprised at that, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'll show you that in a second as well. I have just spent about two hours in the garden and oh, it was lovely. So warm, I didn't have a jacket on. This is the wrong cardigan to wear when pruning a tree because I just kept getting caught on it. So annoying. This is the type of cardigan that just gets caught on everything. It's really annoying. Um, so I gave the back bed a good tidy up. It's had a good cut back, prune, everything been raked. I've run out of room in the bins though, so I'm going to have to wait until my garden bin gets emptied and then I'm going to move around to the side bed. I did a bit of work under the kitchen window as well, just cleared that bed out a little bit because when the bulbs come up, I do like to see them come through the soil and they're covered in um, last year's dead growth and leaves and stuff, so I've given them a bit of a tidy up and I had a few bulbs kicking about that needed to just get planted. So I've popped them in the soil in various places. Now is quite a good time because with the earth being so bare, with all the perennials being so dormant right now, anything new that you plant gets a good bit of light. Whereas if I waited until May, June, when everything is full, the new stuff I planted wouldn't get the light to grow. So fingers crossed the things I've popped in the soil um, will grow. I managed to save some foxgloves that I found down the other side of the house, which is where nobody ever goes because we can't get to. 
but I was delighted to find some last year so I dug them up and I've popped a couple of them in the soil so hopefully I'll have some foxgloves in my little cottage garden I'm fidgeting here because I'm going to show you what I got done yesterday I've got thumbs that makes me so excited it's like it just looks like a glove it looks like a proper glove I just continue to knit in the round on the thumb. I picked up the stitches, picked up a couple of extra stitches and knitted in the round and then I did a decrease about here and then I did another decrease on one. I think I'd picked up more stitches on one and the other so I did another decrease and then I cut my yarn quite long, put it onto a needle, a sewing needle and threaded it through all the stitches and just pulled really tight so it cinched it in. Oh, I'm so happy with those little thumbs. And they fit me perfectly because they were made for my hands. And I'm going to say it, they fit like a glove. Um, so I'm really pleased with that now. So I need to think about doing the other part. It dawned on me yesterday, I had a light bulb moment that I'm doing it all wrong. I'm thinking about it all wrong. I'm trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, so I'm going to change up what I said I was going to do. I was going to do it casting on as if I was doing it toe up. But I'm not. I'm going to cast on the same number of stitches that I've got round here. So I think it was 34. So I'll cast on 34 stitches. I'll do, um, I think I'll do a few rounds of rib and then I will knit in the round and I will decrease gradually. Um, I'll probably just make that up as I go along every few, every few rounds I'll do a decrease um, and then again when I get to the top I may do what I did with the thumb and just cinch it in. Obviously I could do Kitchener but I always end up with a sort of square end at either end so I don't, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah that makes more sense to me just to knit for a bit and then do some decreases and then cinch it in and then what I'll do is I'll just sew it onto the back of my hand and then it can flip over. There's probably a way that I could do it picking up the stitches here and I don't, is that is that grafting or is that just knitting it into here picking up stitches I don't know what that's called but I've never done it before and I'm not really in the mood to kind of experiment with that. I'm just thinking how that would be really secure a really secure way of doing it but no I don't really want to do that um so yeah I'm going to do it the way I said in the first place. I'm so pleased with these, so happy. And even just like that, they're so cosy. <laughs> they look a bit weird without any fingers. But anyway, um, Tilly came out in the garden with me. She loves it when somebody's out there with her because she gets a bit scared of neighbours and, well, just people. Yeah, she doesn't, she's like me. She doesn't really like being around people. <laughs> um, so she was loving it. She just sat on the back doorstep watching me. And, oh, it was so lovely out there. I think it's warm enough. I could actually sit out with a coffee. Um, and as I cleared the ground the robins where, can you hear Tilly? Oh, there's a seagull on the house across the road and she does this weird thing that I've never heard a cat do before, but I can't, apparently cats do it. She won't do it now. Of course, she's not going to do it now. Um, yeah, beautiful out there. Robin, cat, what else was I talking about? I don't know. I feel like it's a bit of a breakthrough day to day and I feel like it's come just at the right time because, man, am I getting fed up. Really fed up. Outdoors is definitely my happy place and even in the summer, in the spring and the summer, I'm just always out in the garden, even sitting on the bench with a cup of tea or sitting doing my knitting or something. Just makes such a difference and it is a change from staring at the same four walls all the time um and the sun is shining it's a beautiful day oh what a nice end to my weekly vlog anyway i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it hasn't been too boring um yeah it's now nearly half past two i'm going to make a coffee i'm going to put the video together because i've still not done it yet and then what will I do? I might knit a bit on my dishcloth. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. Anyway, 
thank you for watching and um, if you liked the video please give me a little thumbs up underneath it and if you would like to subscribe and you haven't already done so then maybe do that and um, I will see you in the future with some more videos um, depending on how well the weekly vlog or the, a, life in, a week in the life vlog turns out I could do something like that again might be a bit more interesting to do once we come out of lockdown um, it would certainly be really nice to do once I can get out and about in the garden a bit more as well um, I will see you soon anyway have a good week and thanks for watching mm -hmm.